this. Yeah. All right, so just show me everything you got going on right now. Well, this is sort of like an archive of, these are all personal hoodies of mine, um, sort of examples of what, you know, I've made and what I can make. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is the first design that I ever did for a hoodie or a jacket or anything. Um, sort of kind of to be like an aura, how the aura is going through. Um, you can see all my dog hair on it. Because uh, it was, was in fact, this? this is this is actually a Gildan. Oh, okay, so, okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. The front. Simple. But then I added, you know, you add your little touches to it. So I added the, the little ends to the okay. strings. Um, so this was the very first piece. Very first piece. Wow. This and uh, a Carhartt jacket. I had the same design um, with silver and uh, like a blue. But what happened with the jacket was the jacket ran first and it all was one layer. So this design, we tweaked it to, for the hoodies to where it's actually the multiple layers with no background fill. So that was one of the learning curves was how to have the right files for the embroidery machine. Okay. to then run because it's very intricate yeah. <laughs> um, but then these these are part of like my first full line that I did these back ones here um, so these were all applique so this is oh, actually applique for this. Okay. yeah so this is actually a, a silk um, piece of fabric I bought uh, six yards of fabric for a backdrop for photos yeah. and I just had the the sheer curtain um, just hanging around and I was like all right well that's the story to why I used it okay, well, tell me about this one right? this one here is a this is actually a silk scarf um, but it's it looks like it's all beat up and sort of this was all on accident but it works so the sort of like that Bob Ross mentality of happy accidents where you Bob know, Ross. give give the give the mistakes intention. Yeah, um, love Bob Ross. Yeah, yeah and then the, this hoodie is one of my newest ones that I did. Uh, same design, um, but I used a pair of pants that every time I wore them, I hated how I looked in them, yeah. and I didn't want to just you know have a pair of pants that I don't like. So yeah. I turned them, turned the seam like right down the leg into the center, so you can still tell. And then got the little Ben Davis patch there. That's, dope. What's this one? that's the that's actually the back patch off the back pocket. Okay. okay. So while this was while the um, hoodie was running um, with the full piece of pant leg in there, yeah. uh, I took a piece of twe uh, or took some tweezers and sort of finagled this in with the needle going up and down, and yeah. it actually lined up perfectly to have the face of the Ben Davis chimp in, in the center of the H there. Um, that's dope. Yeah, that's part of that, like, the custom ability and, like, you know, that freedom of being able to run the machine myself yeah. um, that I kind of don't want to get rid of or kind of, like, lose. Yeah. Um, but it's the next step. It's got to happen. So, But that doesn't mean that these have to go away because it's just a whole other avenue yeah. aspect to what it. What made you do the, the logo upside down? Um... Well, actually, so the, the thought behind the, the design is this is actually like a smiley face. And since they're varsity letters, most of like collegiate sweatshirts, you'll find that the art goes like this. Yeah. And, you know, the imagery behind it, like when the brand, when I was first starting the brand, I broke a dinner plate and, and by accident, whatever. So mm -hmm. I took a Sharpie and I drew, um, I didn't, drew this design basically on the dinner plate where this is sort of like not as much detail as what was there but it was a face and it was the kind of show like you know smile through all the bs wow. remember to smile you know <laughs> learn thy soul was the name of this collection mm -hmm. um and or study thy soul um and that's really just uh kind of like a play on words to where in order to heal, you need to learn what you need to heal. Yeah. So, yeah. That was so, so you got more caps or just, just um, into that? So, yeah, I did a, a drop of these. Um, this was my first new era, like, fitted drop. Uh, I 
did about 25 of these 25. ones. And then these four for the second drop. And these are like just another aspect, uh, more detail of what the eyes are. Because um, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Um, and sometimes you, sometimes you feel pretty crazy, so, you know, yeah. feeling kind of loopy, trippy. And I added a clear sticker on top of the size sticker to give it another little attention to detail that you might not see right away when you buy it. Yeah, I can see it. Oh yeah. That's dope. <laughs> that is dope. Yeah. yeah. And these these are all my personal ones so they're you know maybe not in the best condition anymore but no like worries. these uh I'm really proud of these ones. Everybody constantly is asking me when I'm gonna make more and it's like it's a pain in the ass doing a pre-order for fitted hats because you can't just order all one size so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but I'd always draw some sort of box for them to go in. So if you bought a hat, it'll come in a box like this. With so if you bought a hat, it's gonna come in that box? It'll come in something similar. This was for the first hat drop for these. I uh, had like 25 of these all stacked up. And then I had uh, like a poster print and some stickers in there. Um, yeah, and it kind of just was, I liked fitted hats at the moment. I was like obsessed with them, so I'm gonna make them. <laughs> I'm gonna make one for myself. 